got broke very early in my life, so I guess that's a really good thing as well. So I would be really, I would be able to learn the lesson around that. I have this parang image. I wanted to create an image of luxury, um, and just really having like this really fun girl. Uh, so I, 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 I partied a lot during my my um, younger years, and um, in the end, I would rather like work and then. Thinking that okay, I deserve this break. I would party and YOLO and I mean, kahit na, like oh, my friends are not there, so man libre na lang ako. Like mm, wow. not really focusing on what's important. But was it parang did you it hit a point where you were six digits in credit card debt yeah. because of it? Yes. Okay. Um, because before I didn't have mm. the the. I mean, so ko lang when I first had my credit card, I would pay the, the minimum. minimum. Yeah, mm. like. I thought because like it, it's not um, getting any, you know, feeling ko lang like oh it's there to help. Okay. But I didn't realize that the, I was like building a lot of credit and debt. Whatever you buy does not define who you are. Your value is based on what's inside of you. You don't have to buy stuff to impress other people. That's why so brand daming na pumunta sa utang because they want to keep up with what everyone is doing in creating that stream of income it's important that you also enjoy so that you won't feel burnt out in, in mm. at the very end i think millennials right now are not really driven by money they're driven by growth madali naman kumita eh madali kumita pero i guess it's also about managing your money allocating it um and just really creating a behavior around the whole or the concept around or your mindset mindset around earning should you follow your passion should you do something that makes you feel alive or what if it's not earning in this video we have a life and wealth coach who's gonna talk about how can you make money by following your passion and she's gonna share her story on how she got out of debt so check this video out I'm MJ Ayoki and please subscribe to Marvin Garbo's channel. Awesome, awesome page. Hi guys, we're with MJ Ayoki. She's a life and wealth coach and also a travel vlogger. So this is very, very interesting because we I, I feature different people in the vlog so that people get inspired and encouraged about their life as well. So wow, you know, yung inspiring. <laughs> dinaman, dinaman, dinaman. But we all have uh, different stories that will either encourage people or okay. mistakes that we made that will, will for me, people always say that experience is the best teacher, yes? But for me, it's not about experience, it's about learning from other people's experiences. That's why also, it's okay to share mistakes or problems so that uh, yung mo, hindi ng ibang tao. Yeah. So, first question, uh, what was your biggest financial mistake ever? Biggest financial mistake ever, not really investing on myself okay. um just doing yolo stuff partying every day drinking um anything that does not add value to me or not really serving me it's such a waste of time and energy and i don't recommend um it's okay to have fun but to a certain extent um biggest mistake there is just really spending so much on these unnecessary things um that yeah that don't really add value to has you it, as a person not really helping you grow so has it ever happened because you kept spending uh fashion trips parties yeah. uh you ended up in a large amount of debt yes okay i was so Talaga? yeah um i got broke at the age of well, I guess um, I have to be age, <laughs> but um, I got broke very early. Guys, comment so, below. What do you think her age is? Just guess, na lang. Guess, <laughs> guess, guess. Okay, go. Um, I got broke very early in my life, so I guess that's a really good thing as well. So I would be really, I would be able to learn the lesson around that. Um, uh, sorry, what was the question? Uh, did it come to a point where you were ah, yeah, massively yeah. in debt because yeah. you kept spending? Because context yeah. also, a lot of people yeah. because of Instagram now, parang. I see someone, he or she keeps traveling. So, yeah. parang, I want to have that also. But what they don't know, that person who's traveling, probably yung ginagasto siya for travel is not as, parang, it's a small portion of his yes. savings na lang. Yeah. So, sayo, what happened to you? Um, with me, kasi, I was so focused on my image. 
looking good, that need to, I mean, to be like famous or okay. to make it seem as if my life so awesome and cool and like so I travel all the time. I have this parang image. I wanted to create an image of luxury. Um, and just really having like this really fun girl, uh, so I, I I I partied a lot during my my um, younger years, and um, in the end, I would rather like work and then thinking that okay I deserve this break. I would party and yolo and I mean kahit na like oh my friends are not there so manlilibre na lang ako like mm, wow. really focusing on what's important um, until. There came a time when um, I got really broke. I got broke because I would rather spend money on food. On there's nothing wrong around spending money on food, but like food that is, I mean, like it's not really necessary. Naman to eat at mga five star hotels or whatever that. I mean, we're at a five star hotel right now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's the the I guess the objective around that is. For me, is I'm coming from a space of just to look good mm. and putting a lot of money on just the physical, I mean, physical aspect. So makeup, um, travels, um, just nothing wrong around it. Mm. But like I guess it's also how you're gonna be allocating because your money. Mm. Um, so everything went there. Everything went to. But was it parang did you it hit the point where you were six digits in credit card debt yeah. because of it? Yes. Okay. Um because before I didn't have mm. the the I mean when I first had my credit card, I would pay the, the minimum. minimum. Mm. Yeah, like I thought kasi, like it, it's not um getting any you know, feeling ko lang, like oh it's there to help. Okay. But I didn't realize that that I was like building a lot of credit and debt. Okay. Because I didn't really, I, did, I wasn't really paying it in full. Do you remember the largest amount that you ever, parang at its highest point? Highest oh, this was point. the biggest amount six already. Six digits, then yon. Okay. Six digits. Okay. How did so you like flight? My my plane tickets would mm. be at least ma fifty thousand, mm. diba? Um, tapos makeup. I would buy so much makeup. Okay. Buy so much clothes. Okay. Um, buy so much. Like anything to I mean, make me feel good, look good, but at the end of the day, it didn't really serve me. So yeah, I guess. How did you get out of that uh, that 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 trap? I guess. And just to add, lang no, please, guys, whoever whoever is listening to this, please remember that uh, whatever you buy does not define who you are. Your value is based on what's inside of you. You don't have to buy stuff to impress other people. That's why so brand daming now. Sa utang because they want to keep up with what everyone is doing. So ayun lang, I just felt I needed to add that. So go. <laughs> How did you get out of it? Um, I got out of it because I was able to create different streams of income, passive and active. Ah. Uh, but right now, my I'm really doing this coaching full time. Mm. So I'm really supporting people through life coaching and wealth coaching. So I have different channels and uh, tools to help you create that kind of lifestyle you want. So I'm partnered with several companies, different. Uh, I'm partnered with several. I have several businesses okay. to really create that kind of stream of income. Mm. So um, as a travel blogger, I, I also have um, my online business, and then I also have I'm partnered with several companies. So just be creative around it. Um, I guess the real, the real um, what I'm trying to say here is that you are already capable of doing whatever you want, and I guess it's just really creating and being creative around that. You are a responsible person to begin with. You are capable. You are already whole in, a, in that aspect. But it's just really creating like like what is it really that you want or what is it that you want to value right now or what kind of life do you really want to live and creating some kind of structure around that so that you can make things happen for yourself because like even as an employee even if you're if you have your own business even if like whatever you're doing right now um you can do other stuff because in the realm of possibilities you can be you can pretty much do a lot of things mm. at your own time um i know we all have 24 hours in a day but it's just really how you're also allocating your time your energy and you know, like what really are you focusing on as a person 
to help you create the lifestyle that you want. Because if, if it's really important for you to, I mean, to step up or to create a lifestyle that is, um, I mean, like if you want to like level up your lifestyle, then what are you willing to do? What and what would be the prices that you have to pay? To create this, mm. so in the in the beginning, it was um, me getting, I mean, not really getting enough sleep uh, because I was so focused on creating that business. I was so focused on meeting people, uh, adding value to people, um, growing myself as a person, reading a lot of books, and um, I guess it's the that's the price I had to pay, and now I'm enjoying the benefits from from that. Okay. Interesting, no. Uh, I I always talk about uh, the 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 way for you to be able to also win is to create multiple sources of income, yes. multiple streams of income, and that's what uh, you did to get out of debt. Yeah. And so, I'm sure you have the same. <laughs> you have multiple <laughs> multiple streams of income. Uh, what, Don't I, go back. what what I want what I wanted to ask there is, how did you find out? Hmm, what stream of income should I start? To? How did you figure out that this is what I wanted to do? Because mm-hmm. the biggest question that I get Good most question, of the time yeah. is, uh, "Ano ka? We go mag franchise ba? Ako? Do I sell stuff on Shopee? Do I do I do this or do I do that? What What was your process? How did you know na eto yung sisimulan ko and this is what I will follow through on also? Mm-hmm. Good question. Mm-hmm. Um, we're all very very different people. Uh, we all have unique traits, skills, and knowledge and and of course, your passion also. But I guess the biggest, um, the, the best advice that I could give is to just really follow your heart, follow what makes you happy, follow your intuition when it comes to creating your business, and just really enjoy the process around it. Because like nobody can force that upon you. Um, and it will show. It will show if your if your heart's not there. Um, siguro in creating that stream of income, it's important that you also enjoy so that you won't feel burnt out in, in mm. at the very end. Um, in my case, I was um, I enjoyed really talking to people. Mm. I enjoyed supporting people, adding value, and I guess it's also anchored now on my advocacy to do coaching and transform people and yeah, like really create that kind of mindset because. I believe that we are all meant to be abundant mm. and we're all meant to be free. So if you are feeling, you know, feeling that, um, just hit us up and of course we'll help you, we'll help you create that kind of lifestyle. I have a question. Uh, there's a lot of talk that you do what you love yeah. or you just really force yourself to, even if you don't like your job, you, you love, you have to love what you do. What's, mm. your, what's your take on it? Because there's... Uh, uh, I'm being so many. I'm still a millennial. Just people being practical <laughs> around oh, your, what you're yeah, yeah, what you're doing. Yeah. People yeah. think I'm not a millennial, but I'm also I'm still a millennial. Uh, <laughs> yung, yung, yung thing about millennials is you talk about uh, follow your passion. Yeah. So what's your take about that? Because it can go two ways. Eh? I've seen so many people following their passion, pero they're broke, naman, or they're yes. they're struggling also. Then I've seen people naman, din dina I won't follow my passion because. Uh, I, I, I have mouths to feed. I have something that I need to pay the bills also. Mm. So, ikaw, uh, so follow your like, passion or don't follow your passion. Go. Um, my take on that is to be real with yourself and just follow your passion. Um, I think millennials right now are not really driven by money. They're driven by growth. Um, especially the, with the times today. like um, People are being replaced by robots. People are... Um, like things, the processes are being automated. Um, I'm not saying pe- like you're not significant anymore in your organization, but I guess it's also creating a business around something that is purposeful. Um, and my take here on uh, my take here is we're live we're really in that kind of age right now, wherein people are more self-actualized. Um, they really they're really hungry for growth. Um, and that's why just really create, like do something that is um, that you're passionate about because you can work around that. Um, it's really just creating a mindset and how you can create um, something that would work for you. So um, if it's about like um, just parang yung um, the difference between you being in a process of um, like 
uh, focusing on like the max to feed yeah, yeah. or being uh, you okay. being um because I'm also a breadwinner okay so I have that mentality of that pressure as well na I need to support my family right but at the same time why can't it be some somewhere where I can work where I can also have fun where I can also grow so I guess it's also having that kind of, of opportunity and if you are open around it there are millions and millions of possibilities out there but it's just really how you are and how you can be open around the whole opportunity because madali naman kumita eh madali kumita pero i guess it's also about managing your money allocating it um and just really creating a behavior around the whole or the concept around or your mindset mindset around earning mm -hmm. because you know eh, like it's up to you like would you really want to be stuck in that mentality forever or do you want to do you want to shift into a different mindset wherein you're working but you're also enjoying mm. so it's really up to you as to like what is it really that you want and finding value in your work Okay. Uh, kunyari, we'll, I'll end it with this, this first part. By the way, we'll be having a series of videos. No? So if you have any questions as well in this video, comment them below. And then we'll try to make uh, another set of videos for that. So kunyari, I'm your client. And then I'm a stock trader. And then passion ko pala talaga uh, mag-bake mag ng uh, cupcakes. How do I transition in, into that uh, into that role? Now, I'm not even sure if parang bibenta yung cupcake or talagang uh, it will have a market. I just know na I just believe ko na baka magaling ako mag baka magaling ako magbake and it's something that I like to do. And second question in conjunction to that, how do you know that it's time to pull the plug na 3 years na wala pa rin talaga eh. I have no clients ganun. So how do you do that? Go. Uh, I think it's um you mentioned kasi kanina like it's either choosing the practicality mm. around the the things the thing that you're going to do and also the the passion mm. am i practical well or or you just want to follow your passion mm. um i guess it's uh, the results will just follow the results will just fo follow as long as you're passionate around it just continue doing the like whatever business you're in it can be anything it can be any type of business cupcake or what but i guess the difference here is that what structure or the, what is the daily thing that you're doing every what are you doing every day to make sure that your business like you're you're, you're doing something to to um, bring it forward you to move forward um because at the end of the day like, let's say like what is a measure for you back to say that you're successful because your measure may not be the same with my measure mm. right um and i guess if you are to create a business that you might as well do it because you you like doing it. You're happy to do it. Um, iba yung ipipilit sa yo, and iba yung um, kumbaga hindi mo gusto talaga gawin, and you're only doing it because you want to be practical around okay. it. It will show because if you're just gonna be practical around this whole this whole business, the, if, and if your heart's not there, eventually maybe somewhere in the middle of the game you're gonna give up. Mm. So, saya, saya. I said it was the last question, but I, I, had, I have a good follow up in conjunction no. to that. What if uh, you're, 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 you just graduated, you're young, okay. and then you wanted to pursue your passion, but your parents tell you not to do it? What, what, do, you, what do you advise? Okay. I respect, Shempre, we all want to respect our parents. Mm. Um, but at the same time, go back to yourself. What do you really want? Because, yes. There will be, again, with every choices that we're making, there will always be price and benefits. So if you are to choose and follow your parents, I know like most of our parents really have the best interest, right? Um, but going back to, ikaw naman yung gagalaw eh, ikaw yung kikilos. Because sometimes even if your parents say so, but if you're not, if your heart's not really there, in the middle of the game, like, it's, like it may or may not happen. But maybe if you enjoy doing it, maybe it will happen for you. But again, just really go back to who you are, who you want to be, and because you always start with the beingness of a like, who do you want to be, or what do you want to be as a person? 
and then what do you have to do and then the results will just follow all right so yeah. that's it now just to summarize this portion uh follow your passion but it also has to be something calculated that you know that uh if it's not here's my take on it uh, if your passion is not earning then it's not a business it's only a hobby and you can't live off of the hobby pero just to balance it also Sayang eh, one life to live, you have to do something that makes you feel alive. You don't want to be at the end of your life na 60, 70, 80, 90, regretting that you should have done it. And for me, eh, I'd rather try it now. If it becomes something, then jackpot. I get to do something that I love that's earning. If I don't if it doesn't work out, then I get to I get to know na hindi pala, hindi pala talaga yun eh. And I get to reset but, um, and just start something sige, again. Siguro in that process, mm. what I would also advise is just like like what we're doing right now. Instead of like us committing or like realizing the mistake later on, it's very important also that you're supported with a good leader or mentor or anything you look up to, so that you don't have to create the same mistakes mm. or like do it now. Like at least you have someone to guide you along the process. Um, that's why we're doing this right now, so that you will have an idea also. Like, and Shemper, like with your talks, like mm. they will have an idea. Like, where is it really? Like, where to invest? Or, like, you look up to. Like, there will be people to guide you, so that you don't have to like do everything from the very start. Mm. Right? Um, tools and um, there are different tools and studies available in the internet. But I guess it's also about who you're gonna be partnering with, or who you're gonna be like looking up to, because this these people or this support system that you'll have will eventually like help you become successful. So I guess it's also important just being open around the whole idea of learning, growth, and um, just opening yourself to people who are more successful than you, because. That that will eventually um, help you in your business. All right. So, MJ Aoki was in debt. She got out of debt through hustle, building streams of income by doing something that she loved to do. Now, if you want to be mentored by her, uh, she's a life coach. I'll put the link below so that if you want to set a <laughs> meeting on how she can help help you out, links down below. So, I guess that's it for now. I hope this video helps you. Yeah. Oh, Echo yung ano eh, but thank you, thank you yeah, for having yeah, me. Yeah, it's, it's always you. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon, guys. Bye bye.